In this video, we're going to be deciding if a function represents a linear or a nonlinear function. Remember that a linear function represents a straight line visually or a constant rate of change, and that a nonlinear function will have a curve and won't have a constant rate of change. Let's take a look at our examples. So for number one, here we see our function starts at zero, and as it goes up, we see a curve in it. So this is going to tell us that this is going to be non-linear. And because that has a curve, that tells us that there's not a constant rate of change, thus making it non-linear and to have the curved shape. Let's take a look at number two. Here, we see our function goes through zero, zero, and that as we increase by one level, we go over four, so up one over four, we go down one over four. And so here we see that we have this constant rate of one and four. And we see that our line is straight. So this is going to tell us that this is a linear function because it has a constant rate of change. Let's take a look at our third one. Here, we don't have a visual representation of what the line looks like. So we can't simply go, it's curved or it's straight. But for number three and for number four, we can look at, their const at the rate of changes and see if they're constant or not constant. So let's take a look first at three. And here we see that when we go from one to two, we increase by one. And as we go from negative one to two, we increase by three. So this is gonna give us a rate of three to one. Let's take a look at the next. So to go from two to three, we have an increase of one. And from two to five, we have an increase of three. This gives us a rate of three to one. And finally, let's check when we have when we move, rather, from three to four, we have an increase of one, and from five to eight, we have an increase of three, which is going to give us a rate of three to one. Now we're going to compare our three rates. So we want to know, do these three rates match? And they do. And so that tells us that we have a constant rate of change, which tells us that we have a linear function here. So again, we have a linear function because we have the constant rate of change. Let's take a look at number four. So on number four, as we go from negative one to zero, we go up by one, and we go from zero to negative one, and we're going to go down by one. And that's going to give us a rate of down 1 over 1. Now, let's take a look from 0 to 1. So from 0 to 1, we increase by 1. And from negative 1 to 0, we increase by 1, which gives us a rate of 1 to 1. Now, I'm going to stop right here, because even though they both have a 1 on the top and a 1 on the bottom, we have a bit of an issue, because this one is a negative 1. And the orange one doesn't have that. It's a positive. So right away we can see that this does not have a constant rate of change. That it varies. So this is going to tell us that we have a non-linear function here. And so that's how you can determine if a function is linear or nonlinear using its graph or a set of points.